hey guys and welcome back to my channel tonight i randomly decided to film a get it all done with me a clean with me because this is something i do every night and i feel like it is very beneficial to me especially if you are a parent but if you're not it still can be very helpful just to do a little reset a little refresh on your house every night so my get it on done with me at night is doing all the tasks that I've neglected throughout the day, whether it's laundry, dishes, picking up toys, picking up the house, water my plants, you name it. I try to get it all done at the end of the night, do a little reset so everything is ready and tidy for the next morning. And I don't know about you, but me, um, my like mind is so much clearer and I feel so much better if I wake up to a clean house or at least a clean kitchen. I always close down the kitchen every night. I got that idea from Melina Ciciotti and ever since I've been doing it, I just feel so much better that everything is clean and put away and ready for breakfast or coffee, whatever the next morning. So I'm gonna walk you through everything that I do at night. Every night looks a little bit different, but the kitchen, I pretty much do the same things every night. And then the rest of the house, picking up, I usually have to do every night. Laundry is here and there, but Tonight, I am just gonna show you everything that I do, maybe give you a little bit of cleaning inspiration or to do this yourself. Like I said, something that's been very beneficial to me. We're gonna get started on our nightly little pickup, our nightly little tidy up. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, I'm gonna set you in my windowsill for a second, but I'm standing at my sink. So the first thing I usually do every night is dishes. I try to clean as I go as I do my dishes. That tremendously helps me, but if I have a dinner with a lot of steps or I'm rushing to try to get dinner done and don't really have time in between to clean, I will just throw everything in the sink, throw some Dawn Power Wash on it, and get it after James goes to bed or whatever I can if I have time after dinner to clean it up. I'll do that too, but I always start with dishes and with bottles. So that is the first thing on our list. While the bottles are going, I will usually clean out the sink and put the rest of the bottles away that are on the drying rack so I can make room for the ones that are in there. Um, tonight I am gonna clean my sink. I usually do this like once or twice a week. I used to do it every night, but it was taking up a lot of unnecessary time and sometimes it just didn't need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it tonight because there's some grimy stuff in there, but highly, highly recommend. I will show you, I have this little mason jar with baking soda and then just lemon essential oil. Um, I usually do lemon most of the time, but in the winter time around Christmas, I will do peppermint. Both smell super good. You could use any essential oil that you want, but I have the Dawn Power Wash, but I'll usually just use some Dawn dish soap, sprinkle this in there, and I have like a scrubber that I just use to clean my sink. And I will scrub it out every night, rinse it out, and then usually wipe it out with a rag or a paper towel. And I don't know why that is so satisfying to me. I've said it in previous videos. That is something that I just really enjoy to do. So if you want to try it out, just get you some baking soda and some essential oil. That's all that you need.
finished closing down the kitchen, I wiped down all the counters, usually the island for sure, and then the little nooks and crannies by my stove because that usually gets really grimy at night just after cooking and everything. I just wiped down all the counters so they're clean and ready to go for the next day. But after that, that's pretty much all that's done for the kitchen. Those I will leave to dry so I don't have to put them away wet and they don't get all condensated and everything. But the kitchen is pretty much done so I'm going to start on the living room next and then I'm going to go and sort some laundry and start that. The living room is a little bit of a hot mess today, I will show you, but it's mainly just toys and blankets and Mavericks toys and all the stuff that gets drug out during the day. So I'll turn you around and show you what it looks like and then we're gonna get to tidying it up a little bit. So my shoes from my walk earlier, the blanket where I had James playing, Mavericks toys, all of the baby stuff just kind of gets shoved in that corner. And then Maverick drags his blankets out everywhere. He's laying on two of them over there. Wipes are out. Just blankets on the couch. But one thing I did get that I find is really helpful for toy storage in here is these little bins. I've had most of like the little electronic stuff in that one. And then I just put random miscellaneous toys in this one. There's a little diaper changing basket over there. And then, oh, and then this one just has little toys in it that are smaller and some blocks. So very much a basket person, keeps everything nice and tidy and together, especially with baby toys. So they're not all over the place everywhere. The big stuff like this, you can't really get away from, but definitely helps to make it look a little bit more neat. Maverick even has a basket for all of his toys, but he's pulled a ton of them out today. So we're just gonna pick up everybody's toys, put them all in the basket, and we're gonna get it done. It's just so satisfying to pick up everything. This is gonna take me like five minutes max. And that's the thing I found about cleaning is that it usually takes you less time than you think that it does. So usually it takes me probably five, maybe 10 minutes max to clean the living room. And then kitchen probably takes me probably 10 to 15 minutes depending on how many dishes and things that I have. So if you just set your mind to it and you do a few things, you can keep your house pretty tidy. Even with a baby, even with kids, I know it's tough, but it's possible. So the living room is all clean, all tidied up. Got all of Maverick's toys picked up, all of Jamie's toys picked up, put away in my little baskets. But next, and I think the last thing I have to do is laundry. I do have to water some of my plants, but that won't take very long. But I'm gonna separate and start a load of laundry. So we're gonna do that, and then I think we're pretty much done for the night. What? What? Do you got a potty? You got a potty? Come on, let's go. my favorite plant in my whole house. Um, I got it from my grandparents' funeral. Me and each of my sisters and my mom all got one. I'm pretty sure, but I love it. It hasn't bloomed. It has one little bloom on the back over there, but it hasn't bloomed in probably six months or so. Um, but it doesn't need a lot of sun, just indirect sunlight, and it does really well right here. But I kind of can tell when I need to water it when she gets a little sad looking, a little wilty like that and I call her Mary because my grandma's name is Marianne so I call her Mary so Mary needs a little bit of a drink tonight but it's crazy like as soon as I water her like an hour later like looks back to normal looks perked up I try to water her every three to five days or so um I usually don't let her get wilty looking like this but yeah, enough about my plant. We're gonna water her. That's something that I don't do every night, but I have to do either like um, 
like once a week, twice a week, maybe depending. Um, all my plants kind of get watered at a different time. I have a succulent and an aloe plant in my kitchen window, and then I have a philodendron on um, the top of my shelf, and I have a little ivy plant on the top of my shelf, which the ivy's looking a little rough. It's so weird because it looks kind of dead, like at the root, but it looks really healthy at the end. I don't know why it does that, but she's still growing. She's still thriving. So we're just rolling with it. We're just giving them some water. My philodendron is starting to really take off and really trail, which I'm super excited about because that's why I wanted both of those plants up there so they could trail down the side of my cabinets, down the side of my window and kind of fill that up over there a little bit. So enough about my plant talk. We're going to water those. And then I think... We're done for the night. Well, I think that's all that I have for today's video. This is something that I feel like has drastically improved my daily routine. I just feel so much more prepared and so much more at ease if my kitchen is clean and my house is tidy before I go to bed. It's just a nice little refresh, a little reset for the next day. Another thing I just recently implemented into my routine this week is in the mornings, I have been waking up almost an hour earlier. I used to wake up around 6.30, 7 o'clock to clock in for work, get ready for the day. Um, that's usually around the time James wakes up. But now I'm waking up around 5.30, 5.45, getting up, doing my workout, getting ready for the day. Um, sometimes I can make my breakfast if James sleeps in a little bit or make my coffee. But most of the time I can just get up, work out, get ready, clock in for work, check all my stuff for the morning before I have to start his whole little morning routine. So definitely recommend getting your house in order, doing something for yourself, taking that quiet time because that is something that has changed the whole outlook of my day. I just feel one step ahead, feel ahead of the game, and that just makes me feel so good and so prepared. But I hope today's video gave you guys a little bit of inspiration to do the same, but I'm gonna go and take a shower and just hang out for the night, maybe watch a show, read my book before bed. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.